If you have a vision of your village, you can do a good business in your village. If you have a vision for whole career, you do the business in the whole career. If you have a vision in America, you have a vision there. So first, you have to think about how big you think and do things in the detail. When I started, I put the Bill Gates as my mod, role model. I put the Warren Buffett role model. I got more disappointed. Oh my God, how, when can I be at this Bill Gates? And you, when you put the role model is that big, it's, it's very frustrating. Then I think about the Uncle Wong, my next door, and Aunt Lee, the only my next door. They work pretty well. So I started thinking, hmm, let me serve this. And one day I can serve more people. That was the beginning. Guys, I tell you the day, the first week when I launched Taobao.com, the Alibaba.com, nobody come to sell, nobody come to buy because there's nothing to sell. So in the in my office, we have seven people. We buy, we sell ourselves, <laughs> right? And then the first the, the first ten days, some people start to try to sell something. We buy everything. So we buy a whole house of things for no use, just to. Just people come to sell. So, little by little, we build up our business. Little by little, we build up our ecosystem of the infrastructure. I invited the 24 friends to my home, telling them about what is internet for two hours. That was 1994, and nobody believed it. And finally, we had a vote. 23 people said, "Forget it," right? And only one person said, "Try it." So. I think I have to try it because I believe it. Whether people believe or not, I believe it. Mm -hmm. Then I have to make people who working together with me believe it together, and then the time comes. When I start my business in 1992, it was so difficult. Mm -hmm. I tried to borrow three thousand U.S. dollars from the banks. It took me three months, but I still cannot get it. And when I said 1994, I tried to register an internet company. I could not do it because so difficult. All the processing, and you cannot get the money, you cannot rent an office. And then uh, when I started Alibaba, it was still very difficult. And I think big companies, the government to help. Foreign companies, the the American market, the the stock market to help. Small business, nobody help. If we can create something that using internet to help the small business, empower the small business, and make help the small business grow strong, that will be the unique value that we, the internet can help. So that was big, big. I think since nobody helped me, if we can help the others, it will be a huge opportunity. That is the dream, and that become our mission. So everybody join our company. We were asking, we. Our job, our mission is to help others doing business easier. If you agree with that, working together with us, welcome. If you don't agree with it, there are, there are a lot of good opportunities there and just to join them. Because we think this is our mission. And we've been doing that for 16 years. And I think we will do, make another 86 years working on that. In the day when I started Alibaba, I asked my, my colleague, to record and tape everything, everything we talk, all the meetings. We, we've, been, we've been putting a whole house of tapes in the past 16 years. We want recorded. I told my friends and myself, if Jack Ma can be successful, 80% of the people in China can be successful. To now, we do not borrow even one dollar from the bank. We do not have even one dollar from the government. We do everything ourselves. So, honestly, the 18 founders in my apartment, 40% of them are my students. Another 40% are my friends. So they have no choice. <laughs> and when we have 100 people, well, when we start to do something, all the companies came to us and, and, and they grabbed my people. It was funny that um, those great people have a vision of themselves, that they always have uh, some new ideas they were taken away from uh, the other companies. 
those people stay in the companies they are not very smart like me we believe what we're doing so nobody come to head hunting us so we have no choice we stay there after 10 years we're successful the very important is that you believe it we believe this thing and we see why we be, it's not about revenue the f emails of thanks from customers are the best revenue and also the the employees knows wow this is something because we didn't have revenue i told you one story i went to a restaurant when i finished my eating i there somebody came in with a piece of paper say hi jack i'm a user of alibaba i know you did not make money so i pay your bill oh. <laughs> for these things happen a lot i went to a, 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 a you know a bar some people give me a cigar say thank you for your website i know you did not make money i just a small gift so these things tell us this thing is good if we keep on working and after 10 years it really become good so little by little we build up our business little by little we build up our ecosystem of the infrastructure uh, i think opportunity is everywhere honestly when people think about internet is the future 10 years ago internet was so good no, when nobody believed internet was so good now internet is so tough because all the smart people go to internet so you should go to the off ground there are so many opportunities if you run a restaurant if you're really interested in running a restaurant in Korea using IT technology to making sure the restaurant is perfect and unique if you want to open a barber shop making sure you use the IT technology and data technology be the different it's not only the high tech that works there are a lot of business if you're using IT better that'd be fantastic right so uh, Prime Minister said I'm a genius I don't think I'm a genius uh, and um, I would love to be a genius <laughs> but when I sit next to Bill Gates I think I'm a genius when I speak Chinese he cannot speak when I speak English well it get we both it's not bad you have to, we all have to think opposite where everybody agree wait one minute one minute think about it is that right is there an opportunity where everybody against it just to wait for one minute think about it. so 25 years old don't worry any mistake is an income is a wonderful revenue for you so I tell myself and told my young people before 20 years old be a good student when you do entrepreneur just learn some experience before 30 years old follow somebody go to a small company normally in a big company it is good to learn processing you are a part of a big machine but when you go to small company you learn the passion you learn the dreams you learn how to do a lot of things at one, one time so before 30 years old it's not which company you go it's which boss you follow it's very important a good boss teach you differently and before th from 30 to 40 years old you have to think very clearly when you're working for yourself if you really want to be entrepreneur when you're 40 to 50 years old you have to do all the things that you are good at don't try to drop into the new area it's too late you may be successful but the, the rate of dying is too big so 40 to 50 think about how can you focus on things that you are good at but when you are 50 to 60 years old work for the young people because young people can do better than you so rely on them invest on them making sure they're good so when you are over 60 years old spend time for yourself on the beach sunshine <laughs> right? it's too late for you to change normally but I this is my my advice to the young people 25 years old make enough mistakes don't worry you fall you stand up you fall you step enjoy it I mean 25 years old enjoy the show enjoy the show first it's not easy to attract investment <laughs> Uh, for any startups 
Um, my CFO, Joseph Tai, and I went to Silicon Valley for the first time, 1999 to the year 2000. We talked to over 30 or 40 venture capitalists. Everybody said, no, forget it. So we gathered 50,000 US dollars from 18 founders. We started. And um, the very important thing is, is that <clears throat> You always have to prepare for at least one year money before you go on the road. I agree that everybody, it's so difficult to convince your wife, your, your parents, and your, your girlfriend to do that. But if you can convince somebody for the first round of money, no matter how big the vision is, you have to start from the small things. Easy, secure, start to move. The first move have to be a little bit secure. Always pick up some easy things and uh, try to convincing those people who trust you to raise the money first. Remember one thing, that's the secret sauce. Always raise money when you have money. All right? When you don't have money, you're in trouble. Don't go out to raise money. So when you have the money, start to think about how can I raise money because the winter is coming. How? Always think about prepare for the winters. So my philosophy is Repair the roof while it is sunshine. When it rings, don't move. Keep it, right? So that is the first round of money the bank will not give you. But it's okay. Raise a little bit of money, prove it and a little more, prove it a little more. That's everybody goes like that. Most of the times the venture capitalists to give you the money not only because of the business plan, because of the team you have, who working together with you, and who are these people, what's your experience, what's your record. I think raising money is not that difficult today. Trust me, it's much, there's too much money here. Because people got crazy. The money, the mustard, everybody, everywhere is the money. But the thing is that you have a good team, Good dream, relaxed plan, and good record. When you have that, I bet you will get the money. Don't worry about the money. Money follow the people. People should follow the dreams. And the dream should follow the execution capability. When that thing happens, the money will come. Okay. And the day when I will, I'm going to write a book, which I don't know whether I can write it, but the book I want to write about is Alibaba 1001 mistakes. Okay. So many mistakes we have, and this is the best assets we have. So don't worry about it, we'll make a mistake. Don't worry about that, just to go ahead if you have a dream. Well, nobody can guarantee. Nobody can guarantee we'll be successful, right? So I think the only thing that can guarantee our success is keep the passion, keep believing the future, keep on investing in the young people, and keep on the mission that helping others to be successful. If we keep on that, we have the chance to be successful. If we think, well, we are rich enough, let's enjoy the life, and now we, uh, that will never work. Right. And now, we get more competitors. All the guys, entrepreneurs, if you do business, you will always have a com competition. Don't worry about the competition, because your competitors also worry about you. Right, so don't worry. Competition is a very important, a fun part of the game in the business. So the competitors will never kill you. You will kill yourself by not serving your customer better. So if you ask me what can make Alibaba go longer, I want to make you guys, young people, join company like Alibaba. Open shops on Alibaba, on Taobao. Okay. And then that will keep, and we help you, you help us. That's, it's the, about helping each other, and then you will be successful. When you employ a new person, what do you mostly see? Well, I think it's difficult to looking for a job at any time, not only today. Because when I tried looking for a job, I failed more than 30 times. So it's, it's not rare that so can, I cannot find a job. But when I'm looking for you, young people, I don't, normally I don't read their which university they graduate. Because 
no matter your PhD degree or master degree or bachelor degree, that only a receipt that you have paid that much money study. The real school is in the society. When you find a job and prove that what you have learned really make things different. So I love to see the people with passion. I love to see the people ready to learn. Not say I'm a PhD, I'm a doctor, so I don't have to learn. No, it's new to anybody when you go to the society. So these are the, the passion for future, optimistic, ready to learn, and never give up. These are the qualities that we would love to have young people to have.